It was all smiles as President Abdullah Yameen and his main rival Ibrahim Mohamed Saleh cast their ballots in Sunday's poll. Yameen's critics accuse him of acting as a strongman, imprisoning or exiling political rivals, the election lacking transparency. There is no credible uh, election observers in Maldives at the moment because uh, the, all the uh, democratic, democratic countries as well as the uh, uh, European Union decided well in advance that uh, the government had not been uh, obliging them, the government had not been doing requesting request, what they have requested to do uh, prior to the elections. Uh, that is to uh, free the party leaders as well as uh, to abide by the ruling of the Supreme Court of uh, February 1st. But none of these things happened, so they decided that uh, they would not observe this election and give any credibility to this election. And those critics questioning whether the election would be free and fair said they would prove right on Saturday, the eve of the poll. Security police raided the headquarters of the main opposition, the Maldives Democratic Party. This latest crackdown to stifle the only viable alternative to President Yameen's ruling Progressive Party hasn't silenced opposition supporters. They say the election was a referendum on whether the Maldives continues to slide towards authoritarianism. None of these people here on this parade have been forced to come here. They have not been uh, asked to come here because they would lose their jobs or anything. They are all here because they want to be here, because they want to change this government, because they believe Yamin is not the answer but that we are looking for. Voters in the capital Mali queued to cast their ballot. Some cautiously optimistic that change is still possible. I'm just going to practice my rights and I'm going to vote and I'm hoping that we have a free and fair election. There are only a quarter of a million registered voters in the Maldives. The opposition say the victory for President Yamin and his re-election for another five years is a foregone conclusion. Alex Katopoulos, Al Jazeera.